Our next challenger, weighing in at 158 pounds. With a record of two and two. Wrigley Coal Harbor, Nova Scotia, training at Fredericton, New Brunswick. Team Synergy Brazilian, top team Canada, coaches Mike Fritz, Brandon Brewer, Eric Supernova Nevit. And Aaron Nevit, originally from Cole Harbor. I'm sure he's learned how to fight once or twice again from that area. Now training out of Fredericton. And here comes the hot stepper himself. I'm walking in very loose, very loose entry this evening. Having a great time, enjoying it. Fun fact, Eric Nevitt is from Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, where the current UFC number one contender for the weight class that Nevitt is fighting in is from as well. His name is TJ Grant, and he's fighting Benson Henderson for the, light, for the lightweight title. Up there with many other Cole Harbor Celebrities such as Sydney Crosby. Yeah, really, eh? I don't think I've ever seen another one in UFC. Joining that would be Nathan McKinnon as well. Forward for the Halifax East Heads. Cole Harbor's had a lot to celebrate lately. Nevitt looks to be in From pretty good Beaver shape. Break, Nova Scotia, training in the Lower Sackville, Nova Scotia. Clinch martial arts, victory jujitsu. Battle of the Blue Nose. Kevin Tebow, Shane Price, Gerald Sanders, weighing in at 158 pounds with a record of 1 0. Kyle Blinkhorn. And Kyle Blinkhorn, second fighter in, coming into song two. Matches to blur for either one of them. And this one getting the crowd pumped up a little. And here we go. We've got quite an entourage with them for tonight. Clinch Martial Arts Academy, as well as Victory Jiu Jitsu. This is the first match of our co-main event. And those fighters giving each other the eye. Blake Horn as well looks to be in really good shape. This could be a good battle. Both guys at the exact same weight weighing here this evening. Hope you're all enjoying this at home this evening. And we're about ready to go. Guys, very fancy footed here. And up against the cage. Is they engage in a clinch battle? Uh uh. They job, each have an over under grip and they're both looking for a sweep. This could be a good battle. And down to the ground. Yeah, Nevitt pulls guard. Seems to be keeping it pretty high. Keeping a really high guard has to work for a submission or just keep him down so he can't advance and lay any ground and pound. He's doing really great from here. He's also... Oh! Punch to the stomach. Wow. That's a complete... That oh, a complete. another one! You see, that's kind of brought some life into him. Nevitt immediately moves to side control. 
He's trying to work his way to mount, but at the same time, he does just want to advance his position. And he's in mount. Oh, back into half guard. If he gets into mount, he can lay some relentless ground and pound. And based on his speed, he can probably finish the fight quickly. The shots in the bread basket certainly seem to have woken him. Oh, and Blakehorn right works out for a takedown. Nevitt locks in a dart choke. Nevitt locks in a dart choke. He could be he could be submitting here if he turns into him tight enough. Defends really well. Great defense by Blinkhorn. He's now trying to move into a mount himself. This is a really good ground game. Both fighters are very strong on the ground. Both fighters working to better their position. Nevitt looking for some sort of leg submission while Blinkhorn tries to defend it. Seems he's working for an ankle lock, but if he pulls a heel up, it could be a heel hook. He just has twisted Another the right shot angle. Shot to the bread basket. Defensive shots to the body by Blinkhorn. Holding it down pretty well. Nevitt, Nevitt turns the leg lock into a single leg takedown as they both work their way up. Both guys quite happy to be back up. Nevitt has, Nevitt, oh, now they're in uh, clinch grapple. Throwing shots to each other. They're now standing up, throwing, trading shots back and forth. 10 seconds remaining in the round. And both guys feeling each other out. Great round by both fighters. And we're at the end of round one. A little bit of stand up, a little bit of ground game. And some clinch against the cage, what more can you ask for? All three of these guys, or all, both of these guys are pretty well rounded. I was thinking of all three aspects, sorry. And what are your keys to victory, do you think, of this, in this matchup? Uh, I don't know, that round is really hard to call because they both had advantageous positions. Uh, it's hard to say. They, yeah, they both had a pretty even game standing up and on the ground. So there you have it, a very even first round. Thanks for tuning in tonight, Stephen Dominey and Mitchell Smith here this evening from the Moncton Lions Club. This is the first part of our co-main event. And this features Eric Nevitt and Kyle Blinkhorn. And round two underway. Blinkhorn with the red gloves, Nevitt with the blue. There you go. Blinkhorn moves around. Nevitt puts his hands up as a quick taunt to tell his opponent to open up to him. Neither guy giving much rate at this moment. Blinkhorn seems to be moving a lot more, but Nevitt's keeping his composure. A few hands by Blinkhorn. They exchange body kicks and Nevitt shoots in for a takedown, which ends up, as a, which ends up against the cage. Nevitt holds Blinkhorn against the cage as they, escape, as they exchange knees to the legs and body. Feverish battle among the cage. Seems Nevitt could be looking for a sweep. Now he opens, he backs up to throw some knees in. And they're broken up. Neither of them two, two shots on the breakup. I was kind of surprised. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go, Kyle. One, two. One, two. Good exchange by both fighters. Huge punches landed by both. Both guys just feeling each other out at this moment. Good leg kick by Blinkhorn. Huge hands by both fighters. Another good leg kick by Blinkhorn. Knew it, Nevitt throws back one for himself. Oh, we have a low blow, it's gonna be stopped for a second. And a momentary pause here, Blinkhorn seems to have received a, a low blow. Now by regular regulation rules, uh, it's uh, Nevitt that's hit Nevitt, 
actually has five minutes to recover if he needs it. And you see the ref making sure he does not go to his It was corner. definitely an obvious shot, though, if both fighters realized it. Just needs a minute to walk it off. And Nevin walks it off, and the action continues. And a Nevin looks for an upper cover. There's nobody home. Blake on counters with a huge body kick. And Blinkhorn with another kick. More body kicks by Blinkhorn. Strong legs. Nevis shoots for the takedown. Blinkhorn defends well and reverses him into the cage. With a scramble and Blinkhorn comes out shooting in for the takedown. Blinkhorn with the double leg takedown. Could be re-rolled. They're against the cage, so they could use their feet to push off that. It looks like Blinkhorn is advancing position, working for his back. Blinkhorn now has Nevitz back. He's gonna be looking to get his legs in. Nevitz are defending well, though. 10 seconds left in the round. I'm not sure the round will stop because of the, uh, because of the low blow, but seems both fighters have recovered well. And that is round two this evening. Nevin with a really close Kimura at the end. A few more seconds and he could have had that Kimura, but the round's over. Um, both guys back to their corners. Three just about to get underway. <laughs> Link Horn's corner urging him to get those hands moving. Of course, Nevitt wants nothing to do with that. Attempts to take down him. And Nevitt be in control. Oh, ne Nevitt has mount now. He could be looking for some ground. No, nope, back in half guard. If Nevitt gets mount, if Nevitt gets mount here, though, he could be looking for some ground and pound. Blinkhorn reverses his way out. Blinkhorn's now in Nevitt's guard, but Nevitt seems to be keeping a steady guard. Blinkhorn gets Nevitt to stand up and they trade standing up. They're both throwing big punches, but they're both missing. If one of these land while they have this much stamina, it could be lights out for one of them. Blinkhorn looking for some more of those deadly body kicks that was working really well earlier on. Blinkhorn with a huge straight right. Huge connect. Blinkhorn looking for more straights as Nevitt comes in with a takedown. Blinkhorn defends with a guillotine. He only has one arm in on it though. If he gets both arms in and cranks, now he puts both arms in, he's gonna try and lean back and posture up. If he can use that, if he can use that to purely crank on his neck, he could get the tap right here. And if not, he could bring it to the ground to try and finish it. Nevitt's in a bad position here. Both arms are in, both arms are out now. He's pulling the guillotine and he's pulling onto his back. Probably gonna see the tap. Oh, Nevitt pulls his head out. What a great move. Blinkhorn looking for some submissions now as Nevitt struggles out. Gotta watch out for the up kicks. Blinkhorn's trying to kick his way out as Nevitt comes in with bombs. Blinkhorn now shooting in for a really low takedown. Blinkhorn gets him against the cage. If he pulls his legs out, he could get a dominant position. Nevitt's now on side control bottom now. Blinkhorn could be looking for an arm triangle. Oh, he gives it up. He gives it up to get mount. He has mount. He's gonna lay the ground and pound. And Blinkhorn is straight punches top. only. Nevitt has given up his back, so he's not susceptible to ground and pound anymore based on the rules. Oh, he's still allowed to punch him. The ref is calling the ref is calling that it's okay. Ground and pound. The ref is calling that this ground and pound is okay. Now he's looking for the choke because he fully has his back. Punch 
Blinkhorn starts looking for the submission. There was some confusion by the rest of the fighters there. Blinkhorn shoots in for some more. Blinkhorn shoots in again. Nevin has a Kimura. Nevin has a deep Kimura. He has to get out of it. Blinkhorn's out of the Kimura. Now he's in a really, really heavy side control. Looking for a north-south north choke. He's going to sink in. Blinkhorn almost has a submission. He's got to lay down hard. And Blinkhorn gets over. the submission. Kyle Blinkhorn with the victory. Blinkhorn's corner is going wild. This is great. 